Todo mundo te vio ganar, menos las personas que importaban, los jueces. ¿Qué provecho le sacaste a una situación que pudo ser desastrosa para cualquier otro? Diría yo que, que, que le sacamos una, una gran, un gran provecho, ya que se nos abrieron puertas nuevas, el mundo eh, nos vio, vio nuestro talento ese día. No fui yo solo que lo, que lo dije, ni fue mi equipo, fue todo un mundo de voceo. Que, que reclamó esa, esa decisión y eso me ayudó eh, eh, física y mentalmente el pueblo que estaba conmigo el público me ayudó física y mentalmente What are his typical mistakes? estamos estamos bien preparados para pelear con, con, con un buzador de bastante experiencia eh, ya te, sabemos lo que te, debemos hacer lo que el plan que tenemos que llevar y es algo que, que mañana se va a observar claramente eso What I'm asking is, what are the mistakes he made? I ain't like, yo, Richard, here. No, he said to me. Chief, you look good. Thank you. Thank you for being here. When you lost the title, what did you feel? People go through a lot when I lost the title back home, man. It really burns my, burns my heart. You told your trainer that you failed your country, that you failed those kids. That's a lot to be walking around with, no? Is that fair to yourself? I love them. I love my country. I love What was this whole time like? The death of your father, the birth of your daughter, and coming back from a devastating knockout? It's just a blessing. You know, God knows the reason why all these things happen this way, so... I mean, I think a win tomorrow night is gonna be like, you know what I mean? I've had my, like a double uh, success and there are no ways to express that and I believe that God does his things in mysterious ways and God knows what he's doing with my life. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I really appreciate it. God bless. Um, God bless. God bless you. Yeah. Brandon, every time. You could do yeah. talk. <laughs> You ain't no lightweight. Like, no, you ain't no lightweight. Like, been, been eating good yeah. in, the, in, the, in the country. Don't get hurt. You can't hurt me before that show. Appreciate you, champ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, coach. Watch out for this guy. He used to be a lightweight too. Now he's gonna fight Josh. Man, shut up. He's gonna fight Josh. Shut up. Fight Josh. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Look at them big breasts he's got. Yeah. I'll tell you, bro. <laughs> He's like, got to be back. Yeah, the spirit like, is alive. Why can't this right. is alive. The spirit is still alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the spirit still got to be alive. That's right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. No doubt. We got to go through some things so that way we can appreciate the things that we can see good in our lives, man. The struggle, the struggle got to be there. You feel me? Now, what you do from here on out is what really counts. You will see. It's a, it's a really good weight class, man. You know what I'm saying? You take care of this and you get yourself back into it, man. That's feel right. right. Out of your business, man. Thank you. Listen to that man right there, all right? Listen to that man right there. Mm -hmm. He's gonna guide you. <laughs> this guy right here. I'm saying him, baby. So, yep. All right, champ, out of your business. Right. I'll see you in there. All right, take it. Oh, damn, 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 damn. That's right. Back to when people lose, they react differently. It's not the first time you lost, but you were knocked out this time. How did you recover from that? Well, first off, I know I prepared myself pretty well for that fight, and um, I trained myself. We trained very hard, so, you know what I mean? I always. Like, it would be break my heart if I didn't really prepare myself and I got beaten real badly. I believe uh, things like that really happen in boxing. So it happens and, you know, I take it as it is. Coach, we've all seen that right hand. Is there something specific that you've been working on to not let that happen again? Well, initially, when we were just about to fight uh, Lopez, we had a uh, we had a meeting just like we have it now, and one of the things I told Richie was, don't drop your hands. And unfortunately, at that point in time, when they both fired at the same time, Richie's hand, where was your left hand at? He went in his pocket to get his wallet. <laughs> and the right hand went to do the talking. So he knows now it's all about that proper defense. 
Be ready for everything that's going to come at you. And where do your hands belong? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. We'll put, a, we'll put a Velcro on his chin and on his gloves. So <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Go get him. Right now, I'm watching Andre Ward versus Chad Dawson. I like to watch sharp people, Floyd, Andre Ward, Canelo. How do you feel about the opponent tonight? I'd say he's the best yet that I've fought. I feel like he's going to get tired, as he usually does. Um, and if he do, it's over with for him. He's he not going to be able to swim. Yeah, uh, everybody who done ever wrapped my hands said I got big hands. It's, it's something, I, I guess. For the inspiration behind this fight, um, it's just my city. Uh, Toledo, Ohio. This was the outfit I had planned in October you know, for breast cancer awareness. But unfortunately in that month, brother of mine, he passed from my uh, neighborhood. Blood wouldn't have made us no closer, you know. He meant a lot to me. He ended up passing in that month. We called him Elbow. Um, his nickname was Lunchbox and Elbow was short for it. He's on the back of my jersey. And I'm wearing him and carrying his name on and his legacy. Oh, what's up, surprise, dude? surprise. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I guess you're coming to watch the fight. Yeah. So who you come see? You know, you interested in seeing Kobe or just the whole thing? Or? Oh, man, my boy, my boy Troy and my boy oh, yeah. uh, Jerry. All oh, right. You give them some, uh, some wisdom? Always. Yeah. You know what, that's happened to me in my career. Uh, the main event that dropped out, dropped out in one fight, um, and I ended up being the main event. I mean, you know, it's nothing, it's nothing, nothing different about it, honestly. You're just the main, the main attraction. It's still a fight, uh, rather it's main event, semi, it doesn't freaking matter. Just show up and fight your fight. Comey, we've seen him lose to boxers with punching power, and that's the thing. Marinas doesn't have, I feel, enough punching power to hurt a guy like Richard Comey. But Marinas is a really good technical fighter that fights off the back foot, great mover. Uh, he's a great counter puncher, good right hand, uh, a great jab, um, got a nice step back. Now, granted, Richard Comey just got knocked out. We're seeing him for the first time in over a year or so. But, you know, I think that once Comey gets in the ring, He's gonna feel that, you know, he's not gonna feel as threatened because this guy that he's facing doesn't have tremendous punching power. And I believe that his motor's gonna get going. That belief system's gonna start kicking in. Around four rounds, he's gonna start taking it to him. And uh, I think eventually catching him with that right hand and getting him up out of there. I don't think, I don't see it going to distance, man. Let's put it that way. I don't see this fight going to distance.